What's up guys, this is Justino, about to do another Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu video, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, so I'm about to figure that out, and I'll show you guys. So let's see who I'm going to use and what decks I'm going to use, because I have a variety right now I've been playing with, but let's check it out. Alright guys, so as soon as I loaded up the game, I saw these guys on the screen, and I was like, yay, let's battle them, that's going to be exciting. You know, maybe they'll be level 40, but no! Level 10. Nobody wants to see that. So, to give me an idea, what we're gonna do is... We are going to check this out really quick first. So let me take a gander right quick, sorry. Let's see all... These are the missions that you can do to receive items, rewards... Move on to the next, uh, well, this section here, the events, gives you certain things too. This one is whatever stage you're on. As you can see, I'm stage 30. So the missions I have to do <coughs> are right here, which we can get into that later. So, anyways, like I was saying, what we're going to do now, since those guys showed up, I feel like doing them, but not at that measly level 10. Level 10 is not good enough for my godly stature. We are going to pass all these guys. I'm not sure what direction they are. But, if we get to, I think I went too far, I don't think. Are they all the way over here? Watch, okay, cool. So, we're gonna battle the Paradox Brothers. Excuse my speech impediment, I have one of those. You can comment on the video, maybe I'll explain it, maybe I won't, we'll see. So, we're going to duel them. Costs 104 of these silver looking keys, I'm a little colorblind, there might be some other colors in there, I don't know. But that's definitely a green one. So we need 104 of those uh, unknown colored keys, and then we need 56 of these blatantly, I hope, green and yellow keys at level 40. So, we're going to try that and see how it goes because this legendary duelist is currently in dual world as level 10 do you still want to duel this character to the gate hell yeah level 10 ain't shit to me dang it's not worth my time labyrinth of no return level 40 all right let's check this shit out We're going second. Man, it always seems like I'm going second. Every duel, I go second. I rarely ever go first. I know, I have no idea why. You think you can defeat me? Don't flatter yourself. Oh, okay. I got a decent start in hand here. The doors are all locked. You face the brothers. I know I can automatically summon at least two monsters. And I'll show you why in a second. Welcome to my turn. Well, that was a quick turn. You don't got a lot to offer, do you, homies? Yeah, two of you. You're probably compensating for something, ain't you? Okay, that's also a good part of play. Oh, yeah, this is gonna help me out ASAP. Alright, so she ends Dojo. Each time a six samurai monster is normal summon, special summon, I can place a Bushido counter on this card. And what that means eventually is that I can summon one of my monsters that have a level equal to the amount of counters on that card. So, I need a tuner monster level 2, and this one is level 3. And then, I can special summon this guy, because as long as I control one face up, six samurai on the field, I can special summon him. So let's go, homie. Alright, now that I've got two counters on that card, I can summon a tuner monster with two... with level two, sorry. And... Oh, apparently not. Oh, see... I didn't... See, I'm so dumb. I didn't realize I already had a tuner right here. But you know what? I can fix that in a minute. I can fix that. I didn't even realize this card down here was 
the tuner I was actually trying to get in the first place. Alrighty, well, I can fix that in a later turn. Oh, I can fix that right now, matter of fact. Alright, now I can attack him directly. Gets me off to a really strong start. Oh, and what I did just there with this card, Hand of the Six Samurai, if you didn't see right there, its effect is if there's another face up Six Samurai card on the field, I can sacrifice one of those monsters or that monster itself to destroy one of my opponent's monsters on the field. So I had to do that. Number one, to make space for this guy down here. And number two, uh, it got me a direct attack, so that's going to help me out anyway. I mean, he's got 300 life points left. Huh? Unless he comes with some shit out of his ass, it's over. There's really nothing you can do that right now. Uh, no, I will not. I'll save that for later. Already? Oh, no. What are we going to do now? Power of the Guardians. Good card. I don't even need that, honestly. I'm about to wreck this guy, like, right now. So this is the Synchro Monster I was trying to get. Legendary Six Samurai Sheehan. Which is a really, really good card. One of the best cards to complement this deck, obviously. Alright, so let's start the attack. And just finish them off. You're going down. My monster attacks. And that's that, guys. My monster attacks your life points directly. Nope. Damn, they so ugly. You fool. This opponent, you failed to halt. Oh, they think they got that bars, though? Fabulous duel. They Let's can't spit that hot fire at me. They got wind, bitch. Forty eight hundred. That's actually pretty cool. All right, I'm good with forty eight hundred and monster team. Uh. Wow, alright, that's really nothing special at all for something that needs you to tribute a monster to summon. Alright, this kind of trash. Average tank. That's average, right? Just, that's a rare card? That shouldn't even be rare. That's trash too. Could you imagine that if I dueled them at level 10? That was them at level 40, and it wasn't even all that. <laughs> well, alright guys, that's it for this very short episode. I'm going to test out the audio and make sure everything's up to par. And then I'll probably make another episode right after this one, alright? Stay tuned guys, I'm out.